In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your project schedule from Microsoft Project to PDF, Word, and Excel. Download the entire exercise file for free at alvinthepm.com slash exercise2 to follow along with this video. Using our DIY Doghouse project as an example, you can export your Microsoft Project files as a PDF by going to the File menu, selecting Print, and making sure that your printer says Microsoft Print to PDF. And while this method does work, unfortunately, when you do that, the entire table takes up one page with a legend showing up on the bottom and the Gantt chart being split up on the next page. If you'd like, you could even clean it up by removing the legend by going to Page Setup and underneath the Legend tab, selecting the option for None. While it removes the legend and it frees up a little bit more space, you still have the entire data table on one page and your Gantt chart shown on the next page. So everything is still not as clean and professional looking as it could be. Now let me show you how to easily export your project, including your Gantt chart and tasks, so it shows up all on the same page. First, in Microsoft Project, make sure that you're in the Gantt chart mode with the entry table as I'm showing here on the screen. If your screen doesn't show this, go to the left hand side of your screen, right click and choose a Gantt chart, and go to the top left box button. Left click to select all the tasks, and then right click and select entry. Now let's say that we only want to export the column for task name, duration, and the start and finish dates. Move this slider bar, which separates the Gantt chart, all the way to the left side until only these columns are showing. Left click and select only the rows and the columns that you want to export. In our example, let's say that we want to export the full list of tasks from task ID 1 to task ID 25. After you've selected your data, underneath the task tab, click on the down arrow next to the copy button and select copy picture. For rendering the image, leave the option selected for the screen and for copying, leave the option on for the selected rows and then click OK. Inside a new Microsoft Word document, under the Home tab, left click the down arrow under the Paste button and select Paste Special. A pop-up window will appear and you want to make sure that you're pasting the picture as I'm showing on the screen. Click OK and a picture of your project plan with the Gantt chart will appear. Now as a pro tip from me, I like to change the orientation from portrait to landscape. To do that, go to the layout tab, left click on the orientation button and select landscape. And with that, I'll resize my entire image by left clicking it and then resizing it by moving my mouse to the bottom right corner. I'll also change the margins to narrow so there's 0.5 inches across all sides of the paper. That just gives it a little bit more room so that the Gantt chart can be easily seen. Now if I have to print this out or send it through email to my manager or my team members, I'll clean this up a little bit and add in my project information at the top. To export to PDF, go to the File tab and select Save As. Make sure that the correct folder is being shown here and from the drop down menu below, select PDF. And now your project's plan and your Gantt chart has been exported into a PDF file that is very professional and clean looking that you can quickly present to management and your team. By the way, if you're getting a lot of value out of this video, make sure to smash that like button. It truly shows your support for me and it helps the channel tremendously so I can make even better videos like this. Going back to Microsoft Project, you also have the ability to export only a few tasks that are coming up in your schedule. To do that, left click and select only the tasks that you want. Click on the arrow next to the copy button and select copy picture. For the options, leave them on for screen and the selected rows and select OK. In Microsoft Word, under the Home tab, select the Paste button and your Gantt chart showing all of the tasks that you selected will appear. 
Now, if you'd like to export your project's task to Excel, the fastest and the most easiest way to do that is by left clicking and selecting only the task that you want, making sure to include the information from the columns containing the data that you need. In our example, let's say it's task name, duration, and start and finish dates. Press Ctrl plus C to copy all of this information. Open up a window of Microsoft Excel and press Ctrl plus V to copy all of your selected data. Let's expand the columns and the rows so that the data fits on the screen here. And now we have our entire list of project tasks, durations, and start and finish dates exported into Microsoft Excel. You can also copy and paste the same exact information into Microsoft Word by right-clicking and selecting the option for Keep Source Formatting underneath the Paste Options menu. This will paste your exact data table as you've originally selected it from Microsoft Project. Now, if you haven't done so already, make sure to download the entire exercise file for free at alvinthepm.com slash exercise2 to follow along with this video. Now, to master Microsoft Project the fast and easy way, watch this video next to learn how to use Microsoft Project and all of its fundamentals, and I'll see you in the next video.